Hi you guys, it's Amanda with Healthy House on the Block and I'm here with another weekly blog post, video, and tip on creating an indoor space that really supports your health and wellness. This week I am answering a question that I get from a lot of people and it is how do I get rid of toxins in my house without removing all of the materials? So specifically we're going to look at things like plywood, particle board, pressed woods, and medium density fiber board. These are all very common in our homes as far as building material goes and as far as furniture goes. So instead of replacing all of these materials, which could be virtually impossible, um, we're going to look at how to seal in the toxins. And I'm going to share with you a few products that you can use and how to use them in your own home. So we're going to look at a company. AFM that makes a product called Safe Seal. They have a safe coat line which basically encapsulates VOCs into the product so that it doesn't off gas into your home. Um, safe Seal is one of their biggest products. It is able, you can use it on um, plywood and other unfinished surfaces that you're not going to be handling very often. So this would be perfect if you're pulling up a floor um, and you're going to be laying something new down. You can actually seal in all of that plywood that is underneath and prevent it from off-gassing into your home. Um, there's a couple other applications which I'm going to share with you in a few minutes when we go through these slides. So if you're someone who likes to click on links, you like to learn more about specific products and information, I would encourage you to go to this week's blog post which I have linked in the description below. If you're someone who likes kind of a quick visual, then we're going to get started with some slides that I created to go with this week's blog post. So many of us live in homes where there is plywood, manufactured wood, and particle board everywhere. Whether your home was just built or you're living in a space that was built 100 years ago, you likely have these types of toxic materials inside your home. And while plywood, particle board, and other pressed woods are toxic in nature, there is virtually no way for us to remove them from our homes. So what do we do to reduce VOCs that off gas into our space? We're going to talk about that today. I can't tell you just how many emails and messages I get raising concerns about the amount of VOCs, formaldehyde, and off gassing that happens inside our homes. And I think we all want to figure out how to reduce as many VOCs as possible. So one way to do this would be to reduce the amount of plywood in your home. But this can be very difficult and very costly. These are big ticket items to replace and it's going to be hard to even find good replacements in a timely fashion. Not to mention there's no reason to discard perfectly good furniture, cabinets, or do unnecessary home renovations. It can be costly and wasteful to take this route and this is exactly why I'm a firm believer in AFM Safe Coat Safe Seal to stop VOCs from off-gassing into your home. So all you need is a paintbrush and some time to make what you have a healthier option for your home. Today we're going to cover products that do this, how to get them and how to use them. And then I'm going to share additional ways that you can work with what you have to prevent the off gassing of VOCs inside your home. The goal here is not to replace all your home's contents, but to work with what you have in order to create a healthier space for you and your family. So what is Safe Seal? It is a water-based product that is used to coat materials like plywood, OSB, pressed wood, or particle board that contains toxic VOCs such as formaldehyde. Safe Seal comes in like a matte finished product and it sticks well to porous surfaces. It is best used on porous surfaces like plywoods and part of exposed particle board um, edges. They recommend using it on areas that aren't often handled because the surface can remain a bit tacky even after curing. Safe Seal should never be used over paint and I'm going to share with you products that you can use uh, over paint to seal in toxins later on. However, you can use Safe Seal as a primer underneath paints of your choosing. So let's talk about why we even want to use this. Um, pressed woods, including plywood, particle board, medium density fiber board, all contain adhesives that keep the wood and particles intact. Now these adhesives are used 
in products and they contain VOCs or organic volatile compounds, which will off gas into the air. One of the most harmful of these VOCs used in adhesives is formaldehyde, which is recognized as a known carcinogen by the EPA. Um, I have for you in this week's post, I linked a whole blog post that I did on VOCs. So if you want more information just on VOCs in general, um, head to the blog post and click that link. Otherwise, we're going to talk about all of the different toxins and VOCs that are in a lot of pressed woods in your home. So the first one we're going to look at is benzene. It's highly flammable. Um, it can cause anemia, issues with bone marrow, as, as well as being recognized as a human carcinogen. The second one is ethanol. Um, it is used a lot of times in cosmetics, but it can be in building products and materials as well. Um, it helps adhere products together um, and can cause respiratory issues. Formaldehyde, that's the big one that we talk about all the time. It's used in a variety of applications from personal products to building materials. Um, it acts as a preservative and as a bonding agent, and it has been linked to long long-term health issues um, with the sinuses, respiratory system, as well as a known human carcinogen. Um, the next one is a VOC that's commonly used in varnishes and coatings. It can cause chronic dermatitis as well as permanent nerve and liver damage. And it's a possible carcinogen to humans, but more research does need to be done on that. Acetone, um, also known as propane, is commonly used in solvents. And what it does is it reduces the viscosity of solutions and helps blend um, a variety of solutions together. So it's the perfect thing for building materials. Um, but it can cause issues with, with your blood as well as damage to the kidneys, liver, and nerves. Carbon disulfide is linked to reproductive effects like um, decreased sperm count and disturbances in the menstrual cycle, as well as neurological effects resulting in behavioral changes. Um, this next one is usually in insect repellent um, and and like rodent repellents, but it's also like a deodorizer. So some products use this to cut back on the smell that is in the solvent. Um, it's been linked to negative effects uh, of the lungs, blood cells, as well as cause damage to the liver and kidneys. Toluene is another big one. Um, it helps to dissolve thick substances. It's a human carcinogen, um, known chronic effects on the central nervous system, like tremors, involuntary eye movements, impaired speech, hearing, or vision. And then the last one we're going to look at is xylene. Um, so it's in many glues, many cleaning products, paints, and sealants uh, linked to chronic dermatitis, depression, headaches, insomnia, irritability, uh, damage to the kidney and livers. It's also a human carcinogen. Now, I have links to all of the sources that point to these issues. So if you are someone who likes to read those studies, head to my blog post, which I have linked at the bottom of this week's video. So let's talk about how to use Safe Seal. I get this question a lot because people are unsure. It's not something that you just go pick up at the hardware store. You have to order it. Um, but it's important to note that Safe Seal should only be used on unfinished surfaces. We're going to talk about finished surfaces later. Um, Safe Seal is a very soft sealant. So when applied in a few coats, which is recommended, um, it will remain a bit tacky. So Safe Seal is ideal for surfaces that won't end up being touched. You could apply it to plywood in building materials materials that will be covered up with finishes or in furniture pieces that you have plywood or pressed wood at the interior of the furniture. You may have an exposed edge that has not been finished on pressed wood furniture that you could seal in with safe seal as well. So um, I also seen a lot of people use this in um, redoing RVs and there's a lot of plywood within you know an RV and so they'll seal it up before they completely redo it. Um, before you start it's a really good idea to one spot test. Um, you do an area that is concealed a little bit. Make sure you're happy with the finished product before you just start doing everything. Second, you'll want to clean the surface you'll be painting. Let it dry completely before you adhere the safe seal to it. Safe Seal has uh, like a milky liquid appearance and appearance and texture, but it does dry clear. So you'll want to paint on with a brush, roller, or sponge, let it dry completely about two hours. And then what you'll do is you'll repeat this for two to three coats total. A thick application or a humid climate can create longer curing times. And then 
when you're all done, all you have to do is clean up with warm soapy water while your tools are still wet. Um, so the surface of the safe seal will remain a bit tacky even when cured, which is why this is only for surfaces that are not often touched or handled. Um, and we're going to look at next what you can do for surfaces that you'd like to seal in that are either painted, finished, or high touch areas. So the first one we're going to look at is um, Safe Coat Hard Seal. Hard Seal works in the same way as Safe Seal to encapsulate the toxins of products. The difference is that Hard Seal is a clear gloss sealer that works on finished surfaces as well. It's not recommended for hardwood floors um, and should not be used over oil-based like polyurethane products or oil-based products. It's recommended that you do the two coats. Um, and apply it to ensure off-gassing VOCs are blocked. The second product you could use is Safe Coat um, Acrylac, and it's a more durable finish than Hard Seal and comes in either a satin finish or gloss finish. It's a great option for painting over surfaces that are already painted so you can coat over painted like cabinets um, make sure that you're not using this on oil-based products however um, and it's best used on wood products overall. And then this last one we're gonna look at is the polyurethane. So this is pretty much the same as the Acrylac, except that the finish is more of an abrasive resistant. So this means it's perfect for floors. So again, however, you don't want to use this on polyurethane products. You'd have to sand it down before you adhere this product. Um, so, and you know, whatever route you decide to go to reduce VOCs, um, through encapsulating material, you're doing your house and your health a big favor. Safe Seal and these other products I shared are excellent when you want to preserve what you already have at home and make it healthy at the same time. You guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me and learning more about how to reduce VOCs that will off gas in your home without replacing everything. If you would like links to the products that I mentioned, or if you want more information about VOCs in general or sealing them up in your home, head to this week's blog post, which I have linked in the description below. Otherwise, I will be back next week with another healthy house tip on creating a space that supports your health and wellness.